Hey guys, Bass Quest here on behalf of Monster Bass. And what we're going to talk about today is catching the fish of a lifetime on a shaky head. Now most time when people think of a shaky head, they're thinking an ultralight finesse technique. They're thinking fishing really slow, pulling out the fairy wand, as we call it, the spinning rod there. And just and trying to grind it out when the conditions are tough to catch those fish that you wouldn't normally catch. Now that's a great way to use a shaky head, but it's not the way I always like to use it. Um, for me, in many places, it replaces a jig or even um, a Texas rig. And what I do is I, I'm trying to present something a little bit different to the fish, something that they haven't seen before. And I use bigger tackle and bigger baits than most people would think to use for these particular baits. Now, first off, we're gonna talk about our finesse shaky head fishing. What I really like is, this is a VMC rugby head. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna zoom in. And you can see very small head. We're talking 3 16 ounce. They have 8 ounce, they have 16 ounce. But you'll notice it's got that very light wire, but it's an extra wide gap hook. And to me, that makes all the difference in the world on my hook to land ratio. Now you can see right now I'm using a tube worm on here. It's actually half worm, half tube. I really like this particular bait, fishing around beds, um, slow fishing, a shaky head like you talk about and you see guys doing, you throw it out, you literally just leave it set and shake your slack line. We'll show you how to do that here in a minute, but you leave that thing out there, you shake that slack line, shake that slack line, and you pull it just a touch shake the slack line now these kind of casts when you're fishing it like that it's going to take forever so when you're fishing and doing this technique you want to be in a high percentage area now whether that's you know there's a school of fish out here say you're on a shell bed or you're on the end of a point you know there's a school of fish out there this is a great time to use this technique um, on main lake structure like that but it's also really good to use that technique around cover so say there's a stump um, you can go over there and fish this shaky head really slowly around a stump, maybe a dock piling, uh, maybe a big a brush pile. You can fish it really slowly around that brush pile. That way you're not wasting time. This is not something you want to try to cover water with and go down a bank because you're going to be really disappointed because you're not going to cover a whole lot of water within the day and you might not end up finding where those bigger fish are located. Now I've caught huge fish on these really lightweight shaky heads like this. Um, eight ounce shaky head, I've caught two fish um, around that double digit mark doing this technique. What you're gonna want is a spinning rod, seven foot long, six and a half foot long, medium heavy, and you're gonna want light line um, to get the maximum amount of action out of these baits. Um, I'm convinced that fishing them on six to eight pound test is what you wanna do for this particular application. And now a worm is a great bait to use on this, but another like a small craw bait can be amazing on this. Um, some of your TRD style baits or your Cinco style baits can be really good on a small shaky head like this. So don't count those out. It doesn't have to be something that's gonna float. You know, most of the time, even with this rugby head, you can see it's a semi football design. Even with this rugby head, it's really not gonna stand up all the time. You know, you're dragging this thing, that football head will help push it back up, but it's not gonna be perfect. And the next one we're gonna move to is probably one of my all time favorite shaky heads. This is MGC Custom Tackle, and it's a half ounce or three eighths ounce um, mini mag shaky head. And I'll take this uh, structure bug off so you can kind of see it a little better. Boom, you can see that again, extra wide gap hook. It's a screw lock design, but I think the main thing is that football head right there. Um, I think, when you have a bigger bait down there and if you really want to keep that thing facing up or if you really want it to correct itself and right itself where it does that um, premium shaky head action, you know, where that bait's standing up as much as possible, it's really hard to beat a football, especially when you're talking about throwing bigger creature baits, bigger craw baits, really big worms. You know, a lot of guys shaky fit head fish with a small finesse worm. I like to throw up to 12 inch worms on these shaky heads and you're not gonna get with a traditional shaky head, you're not gonna get that thing to stand up or at least stay up as you're pulling it and shaking it around down there with a traditional head. You wanna go to that football style head. Now the mini mag has got a smaller hook in it. Still very strong, so I use bigger tackle. You know, we got the bait caster, seven foot to seven foot three, medium heavy action, um, 14 to 16 pound test line, perfect for this application. You're not gonna have to worry about bending out hooks or anything like that. 
wonderful bait. Um, this smaller hook I love to use, again, smaller worms, maybe your finesse type worms, your trick worm, things like that. Um, structure bug or any kind of creature or crawl bait is fantastic on this particular head. Okay, now we're gonna go to number three. All right, here's the big one right here. We've got a 10 inch bull worm on this dude right now. And again, extra wide gap hook, much bigger hook. This is your traditional Magnum shaky head from MGC Custom Tackle, football head design, bigger hook. I think it's a four or five aught hook. I use up to 13 inch worms on this thing, never have any problem. Um, getting the hook into the fish or anything like that, but wonderful design um, Completely different setup for this again. You're looking at a seven foot six all the way up Sometimes if I'm around really big fish guys, I'll go to a 7 extra heavy like a flipping stick So this is again seven foot six flipping stick looking at that 20 to 25 pound Maybe 17 is about the lowest I'll go fluorocarbon don't have to worry about bending this hook at all but bigger gear for this particular application. You can see I've got a big worm on here now. That's what I like to use a lot. Really big worms, um, really big creature baits. And it's something that we use around here on the Tennessee River for ledge fishing. You know, you get out there and you wanna throw that big shaky head down there. That's a half ounce right there. But if I'm ledge fishing, I'm gonna throw a three quarter ounce, maybe even a one ounce big um, football headed shaky head like that. Get that bait down there, keep it standing up in those fish's face, even in the current and you catch a lot of fish, but it's not the only thing I use it for. Like today, I'm out on a big flat, and I've caught a few fish. You guys have probably seen, I'll roll some footage right now, but caught a few fish just fishing these ditches that are on the flats. Um, again, we're looking at structure here. So these ditches on the flats there, you, what happens is that current will push through those flats, and where those ditches are, you'll have hard spots that are created. It'll push that sediment out of there, that silt, and what you'll have is you'll have gravel, you'll have bigger rocks, um, and sometimes you'll have shell mixed in there with that. And so when you find those little hard spot areas, again, just like a football jig, this football head, shaky head, you can kind of crawl and walk it through that stuff and pull it almost like a Carolina rig. So you can pull it, bounce it, hop it through there, and get those bites with that thing. <clears throat> and now talking about retrieves, Again, I don't always do that traditional shaky head retrieve. Even with a spin rod, um, I'll fish that thing along bluff walls. I'll throw it out there, <clears throat> and I really like the fall versus a Texas rig. You know, a Texas rig falls straight down. The bait a lot of times looks like this coming down through the water column. When you put it on that shaky head, it falls at a 45 degree angle. And if those fish are looking up at that bait, what they'll see is a little different profile than they're used to seeing. So don't be afraid to get that light shaky head, go down fish bluff walls, um, fish around different things that you would normally throw a, a, a small Texas rig or a little drop shot on. And I think you'll be surprised as to the results. But jumping back into these bigger shaky heads, I fish these a lot around big docks, uh, around marinas, so you can let that thing sink again. Really big worm on there, you get that 45 degree degree um, presentation or fall through the water column can be fantastic. They're great for fishing around um, cover, visible cover. So I caught a few fish on these isolated um, brush piles out through here, isolated stumps. But again, don't be afraid to, to fish this thing not in a way you traditionally fish a shaky head. So you throw that thing out there. One of the trees I like to do is I like to just kind of pull it and hop it along just the same way you fish a jig, you know, a traditional casting jig. So you pull it a little bit, you hop it up, let it sit back down. And what it does is it allows that bait to hop and then erect itself again or ride itself again. I like, again, with that football head, I like to do a drag technique, just like you do a football head. Sometimes that's almost like a steady reel and a stop, or you do it like a Carolina rig where you throw it out, let it hit the bottom, pull it a little bit, stop it, reel up your slack, pull it a little bit again, stop it, pick up your slack. And every time that thing's fighting its way, through those rocks and through that gravel. And then as soon as you stop it, it wants to push that bait back up, puts that bait right in their face. And a lot of times, more often than not, what will happen is you'll go to pick up that line for your next drag, all of a sudden it's heavy. It's just a great technique this time of year. I can't tell you how many fish, especially with this particular, these bigger shaky heads, fish in shallow water, fish in deep water, you know, anywhere from six to 10 pounds. Giant fish will come up and they will commit to this bait. So you really need to get out there, give it a shot. And I think that you might get that new personal best, especially during this time of the year. 
you know, we're getting into June now, May, June. Um, you get post-spawn fish. Almost every fish in the lake is done spawning. These fish are pulling out, but what's happening, a lot of them are staying shallow. They're staying in the mid-depth, so you can throw these deep for these ledge fish that are already pulled out there, but so many of them are kind of staying shallow in this mid-depth range around that emergent grass, and you got a shad spawn going on in a lot of lakes around here in the southeast. You got bluegill spawns going in the southeast. You got bluegill spawns going up north. Get out there, you know, get one of these big worms, get underneath those, those bait um, that are spawning and those bait that are suspended out there, and you'll find that a lot of times just underneath those schooling fish, Big Mama's gonna be sitting down there. You can really get right in a hurry with one of those big fish that's fed up post-spawn. Hope y'all enjoyed that little video there. Make sure you subscribe to this Monster Bass channel, guys. There's gonna be a ton of information out there. We're gonna break down a lot of different baits that are gonna come in the boxes, but we're also gonna go in depth on really good techniques, techniques that are gonna play by your region and for different types of the year, different types of lakes. You're gonna learn to become a better fisherman. You're gonna get the baits that you need um, to get out of your comfort zone and become a better fisherman as well. This is a lot of good information coming your way, so subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell too. It'll give you notifications when we post a new video on here. And if you want a more in-depth video on these shaky heads, feel free to check out my channel. Again, it's Bass Quest. I'm Caleb, and I'm gonna go into a lot of the map studies, so where I look on the lake to find these particular fish. Gonna go into a lot of the individual plastics that I throw for these big shaky heads and for the small shaky heads because I got a lot of sneaky baits that I don't think a lot of guys are throwing on them. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you check out my channel. But anyway guys, hope y'all have an awesome, awesome month catching some big old fish on this box. But catch you on the next one.